Serving as investigators into hidden issues in society, the work of journalists, as important as it can be, is crucial and life-threatening. Thus, the call for safety and security, especially in the line of duty, with campaigns like ending impunity for crimes against journalists. The Nation General Assembly proclaimed the 2nd of November as the International Day to End Impunity for Crimes Against Journalists at a general resolution. The resolution urges member states to implement measures that will counter the culture of impunity against journalists. The date is to commemorate the assassination of two French journalists in Mali in 2013. Commemorating the day in Sierra Leone, the Media Reform Coordinating Group is reminding government of Sierra Leone of cases of attack and assault meted against journalists earlier this year that are yet to be concluded, while also appealing to media owners to prioritize safety issues of journalists. What, one of the things we've been doing over the years is to monitor and report on issues around safety and security of journalists. So over the years, like a year ago, we have drafted a policy on safety and security of journalists. We've also done a study on safety and security of journalists to as, at least ascertain what are the issues around these safety issues. Mind you, the safety issues we are talking about is not only limited to the ones from uh, the, the outsiders. We also have safety issues within the media organization. So we are also focusing our, our advocacies on all of those things. So we want to see how best the media environment the government, politicians and other stakeholders see how best they can ensure that journalists and media workers are safe while doing their work. But how safe are journalists in carrying out their job? Khadija Jalo, a journalist working for Sky Radio, explains. I will not say 100% um, safe. Reason being is because um, now in our own um, field of practice, sometimes you want to say something, but because of several issues that we have been hearing of, I mean, I've seen so many reports from MRCG, we are journalists are being threatened online. Some of them have been called, you know, threatening their lives, take their life, and all of that. So sometimes you feel like even if you want to put the truth forward, you think twice and begin to say, well, I did not start the job, so whatever is going on, I will not end it. So for safety in Sierra Leone, MRCG is doing their bit, Sludge is doing their bit, Wimsal is doing their bit, but more needs to be done. While underscoring reduction in the number of cases of harassment against journalists since the repeal of the criminal libel law in Sierra Leone, President of the Sierra Leone Association of Journalists, Ahmed Said Nazgala, stressed the importance of the day. And so this day is important because it reminds us that uh, as a nation, we need to end impunity. We need to ensure that uh, those who um, assault journalists, who intimidate journalists, who harass journalists, offline and, offline and online, uh, must face a full penalty, penalty of the law to address ability so that they understand the importance of the work that we do as journalists in bringing information to the public. And so nobody has a right to disturb um, our, our work and to ensure that we provide the condition environment for us to do our work. So While the Media Reform Coordinating Group is working on a policy on safety and security for journalists in the country, the group is also calling on governments, politicians, media organizations and owners civil society organizations and the general public to ensure the safety of journalists across the country at all time. Ronald Jomorovia, AYV News, Freetown.